Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about certain people or most people where they've always got money issues, but they've got a vice and they've always got money for that vice, whether it be shopping, whether it be food, whatever. So today we're gonna be talking about that and specifically this tweet right here um, in regards to that. But I know these people, Kirby, you know more of those people. So I'll let you start this one up. Yeah, I guess I got to hurt feelings. I don't care. But the one that the one that chaps my butt the most is the people that go on vacations. This is the one that pissed me off the most. They go on vacation and then they soon they come back for vacation. They asking to borrow money for necessities, light bill, mortgage due. And things like that. I know everybody know people like this, but that's the one that that chaps my butt because you knew the mortgage was due before you went on that vacation. You knew the mortgage was due before the utility bill came. But then, but you spent the money to go on this vacation, and then you come home, and then oh, now it's an emergency. My lights are about to get cut off. First off, your lights don't get cut off until you miss three months of payment. First off. It's not a one month deal. So that means you neglected the light bill or utility bill for two months before you went on a vacation or two and a half months before you went on a vacation and you come back and you still neglected it because when you was on a vacation, you was partying it up. You was doing everything. I mean, the reason why everybody know because everybody put all their information on social media. And that's a funny one that I always get. People will go on vacation. They, you know, they YouTube, I mean, not YouTube famous, but social media famous, IG and all that stuff, posting stuff. And then they come back and then they call and be like, hey, my life's about to get cut off. Uh, you know, you got a couple hundred dollars or you got this. And I look like, wait, and I and I say it. I mean, I have no, no filter and I don't care about people feelings like that. I was like, you was just on vacation you knew this bill was due before. And I always say no, because I'm not going to finance your life. If I give you that money for that light bill, and it's just my thinking, everybody can think however they want to. But if I give you that money for this light bill, you're going to pay the utilities. And I'll keep saying light bill. So, you know, that's came to me a couple of times. <laughs> but I'll give you this money for this light bill. I'm financing your life. You're never going to learn. Maybe you need to sit in the house with some candles burning to realize you need to get a better financial plan about your life. So that's just one of many that I always see. And but that's the one that chaps one but the most. Yeah. That's I mean, and it's all about personal accountability. Like, and I know because you had just mentioned, you know, this is your way of thinking and most people because most people will probably say, oh, but it's everyone's right to enjoy life and go out and have fun. Like, okay, it is, but you have to be accountable and you have to be in position to actually do that. And it's not anyone else's responsibility to just simply pay for someone's vacation. I've had it. I've had multiple occasions where people have asked me before, like days before they go on the vacation, Hey man, let me get $500 and I'll pay you back. Like, no. And then I've told them, I've told them, no, and they're like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go like, okay, why is, why am I the one that's going to determine, you know, why is my finances going to determine whether or not you go on a vacation? But another one I see a lot though, is like, um, you know, like people just got money to go out to eat. If I spend $40 at a restaurant, I feel, <laughs> I feel bad. Pass out. <laughs> Yeah, you about to pass out, <laughs> man. Good, look. good and, lord. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, people literally, literally, he's about to pass out. So sometimes <laughs> I get Alex to go to restaurants. Good lord, it's so bad. Yeah, like he be over there, like got to go to one today to do some shorts. Good lord. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta, he's he's gonna. <laughs> this is what he's gonna do. This is what he's gonna do. He's gonna. All right, I'll just say just a, a Madane restaurant. I won't talk about the restaurants we go to. But we, he will literally order a burger and he'll be like, give me a glass of water because he feel like he spent so much money on the burger. This, this, guy, is, this guy is terrible. 
I would be like, what the heck? But yeah, but that's but that's who he is. I mean, now I know that's who he is. And I would keep egging him on to get something else, but that's that's who he is. But <clears throat> the thing that that uh it kills me is those same people that ask you for money for different, you know, events or utilities, trust and believe you've talked to them about personal finance and how to save money before. Right. And I don't know none of these people you're talking about, but I know you have. I know many people have, but right. they don't want to listen to that. But the reason, but the reason why they call you and ask you is because you talk to them about personal finance. So they're thinking in the back of their mind subconsciously, oh, I don't have the money, but I know Alex told me to do this. So I know he's doing it. So he has the money. That's that's why they do it. And I get many a calls. And I remember when I was younger. You know, the thing was, well, when gas was a lot cheaper, you know, let me get five dollars for gas. Let me get ten dollars for gas. And, you know, helping people out five, ten dollars for gas. Now. It's more people that know about the journey, know that how serious I am about investing, putting my money away, you know, to make it grow and stuff like that. So now I don't get the five dollars for gas. On I don't get the ten dollars, twenty dollars for gas. I don't get the hey, let me let me get thirty dollars so I can get through the work week. I don't get those calls on me. Calls I get is, hey, let me get $40,000 so I can start this business with my cousin. Let me get let me get $100,000 so I can put a down payment on the house. And then my my simple answer, and I've, I've trust me, I've had many of these uh, calls. I said, have you ever had $30,000 at one time in your life? And they'd be like, no. And I'd be like, so you believe, I believe, that you know what to do if you had $30,000. And then they will sit there and think about it. But yeah, man, it's a good business. I'm like, have you ever done business before? No. So how do you know it's a good deal? But so you're willing to risk your reputation by asking me. You're willing to risk my money and knowing that you would never pay me back for a deal that's not going to come to fruition. Because if the person you was doing a deal with has been fluent in deal making and fluent in creating businesses, then he would have people because of his history track record, he would have history of getting that done. Or if he had a good business plan, he could have just got an SBA loan to start the business. So it's either he got bad credit or a bad business plan, or you got bad credit and a bad business plan. But either way, I'm not going to get paid back. But they think that somehow that I sit here in a financial bubble that I don't know how people really react or how people really operate in the real world. And the truth is, I see you from a mile away. You don't even know how much $30,000 is because you never even worked to achieve that in your lifetime. I mean, I have crazy stories. I wish somebody would call and be like, hey, let me just get $30,000 so I can get through the week. I would love to do that, but I don't get those calls. I wish I did. Alex, I know right now you're starting to get more high dollar amounts than you used to, but it's just it's a funny thing. I mean, but we had these conversations. The same people that's asking us for the money, we had conversations so they can get their own 30000 40000 50000 100000 But they dismiss all that and just say, oh, I'll just ask him uh, later in life when I need it. Hell no. Yeah, that happens all the time. And yeah, the, I mean, the highest dollar amount one I've gotten asked was like 2600 to pay for someone's college. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I know it'll there'll be more and more. But with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. If you've been asked for money, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.